vandaag interview ik in deze winkel Christopher Atkins. Van zijn manager mag ik praten over zijn nieuwe vriendin, zijn toekomstplannen en over hoe het was om bij Oprah te gast te zijn. Maar ja, ik wil natuurlijk weten hoe het is om met Brooke Shields te rollenbollen. Want jawel, Christopher Atkins was Richard uit de Blue Lagoon. A wooden ship. A fire at sea. Up you go. And two young children are cast adrift. Fortune washes them ashore on a fertile isle. But fate deserts them, and they are left utterly alone. The years passed, but no ship ever did. Yet the boy and the girl grew strong and tall and beautiful. Nou, zoals je ziet, is hij een tikje ouder geworden, maar zeker niet minder knap. What? Christopher, hi. Since everybody, all the young audience knows it, how, what was it like to um, play in a movie like that, like 33 years ago? Like, wasn't it a taboo back then? It was, uh, I, I, I didn't, th there's gratuitous nudity and then there is something like this movie. And so this was, a at the time in the 80s, there was a lot of that going on. But uh, it, it, I guess the big thing was there was male f nudity more than female in this movie. And so that was a big, big deal back then. Um, but, uh, you know, it was a beautiful movie and it, and it called for it and it was a Romeo Juliet and it turned out to be something like that. And I, I didn't really understand it, but I didn't have a problem. It was, uh, then it's a deserted island. So it, you know it's a Romeo and Juliet, but then Juliet is your cousin. So that well, was quite the shock, you right? You have to bring that up. Yes. So that was, uh, everything's legal offshore. Okay. What can I say? What are you doing, Richard? Within this girl, now woman, this boy, now man, the mystery of desire. So you were on an island together, the two of you, for four and a half months on Fiji, really romantic atmosphere and stuff. What, how, what was it like between the two of you? Well, we'll put it this way. She was just sort of getting into boys. Um, and it, it, we had a little bit of a romance that started. The, the director wanted us to have a romance. It, it, he, he, we lived in a boat, uh, a ship offshore before they built the tents. They, they built this, what they called Tent City. So I actually lived for the first two weeks on this ship, and on this ship, he put a picture of Brooke over my bunk so that I would start falling in love with her or start, you know, getting used to seeing her or something. And he wanted that to happen because then it would show in our relationship in the movie, you Good. know. Yeah. And, um, well, as I told you, the movie gets played over and over again. I don't think in Holland is the only country where it gets played over and over again. Do you get paid, like, every time it gets aired? Millions of dollars. <laughs> well, seriously, That's why I'm, I'm sure. here at City Diamonds picking up my watch and looking at the diamonds. No, uh, y yes, you do. You get you, you do get residuals and stuff, but I mean, it's been a long time now, so it's not. You can't live off of it anymore. No, you can You can maybe get a tank of gas. Okay. But it's still cool. And um, can you say anything to our Dutch female viewers who've seen the movie as well, like 500 times now? Maybe give them a little high from you. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Dutch women have to be some of the most beautiful women on the entire planet, and I mean that, I'm not just making this up, I am so serious, and I'm excited to be here, and I just want to say a hi to all of you, and I hope you continue to enjoy the, the film, and if I see you, please stop and say hi. What are you doing? What do you want? Why won't you talk to me? Just leave me alone! 